I found this tweet the other day, and it was in regards to the theme park panel at D23. It some, said something along the lines of Disney is now in the business of not making things that we will love, but instead making things that remind us of things we love. It was talking about a theme park, but you know what? You could pretty much apply it to Pinocchio 2022, and it might as well be the same thing. Hello everyone, my name is Ryan Cam, here with my brief thoughts on Pinocchio, the 2022 version. This was directed by Robert Zemeckis, we all know who he is, and it starred Joseph Gordon-Levitt, Tom Hanks, Cynthia Erivo, and others. And this is the remake of the legendary animated movie of the same name, released in 1940. It, the plot is pretty much the same as the 1940 version. I don't think I need to repeat it. I'm sure you all know exactly what it is. And I'm sure you all know the fact that this movie has gotten trashed from pretty much every reviewer that I follow. I was even considering not watching this. However, I had the day off and I decided, you know what? I've got an hour or so to kill. I'll check it out. Yeah, it's bad. And... Well, let me just get this out of the way first. It's not the worst. It's just bad. It's not the worst live action remake, certainly not in a world where these two movies exist. No, this movie is just the regular kind of bad. To be fair, I'm not made out of stone. There are some things that I was like, all right, that was a good choice. Chief among them being casting Joseph Gordon-Levitt as Jiminy Cricket. I legit had no idea who was voicing Jiminy until I looked it up on IMDb. Joseph Gordon-Levitt is unrecognizable in this. And honestly, I haven't seen him in a minute. I thought he stopped acting for a minute. But it turns out, no, he was just here the whole time. He was the highlight of the movie for me, bar none. And there's some set pieces that looked pretty decent, or at least had a good idea attached to it. That's pretty much it. The rest of this movie is kind of trash, so I guess we might as well dig into that. First of all, Tom Hanks. I'm pretty sure he had no idea he was being filmed. I don't know why they even cast him, other than the fact that he's Tom Hanks. Everybody loves him. And I'm pretty sure because, well, he and Robert Zemeckis have made millions together. I'm pretty sure there was an IOU between the two of them. Don't quote me on that, but I'm sure that's what happened. The little boy they got to voice Pinocchio was fine, I guess. It could have been better, but I've seen some reviews calling the design, like, really creepy and all that, but it kind of looked like what a live-action Pinocchio, translated from the 40 version, would look like to me. So I just, I thought it was just okay. While there is some good CGI... There's some truly awful CGI in here as well, to the point where I was just sitting there and I was like, Disney is worth billions. They just recently bought an entire studio. How are they allowed to get away with any of this? Like, seriously, they're worth billions. Did they pay these animators anything? Really? Probably the most egregious was on Pleasure Island. There is a scene where Pinocchio and the kid who turns into a donkey, they're on this rot, they're on this boat looking thing, which I'm pretty sure is going to be the test for whether or not they actually create a theme park ride out of this. And I certainly hope that they don't, but they're given these beers. It's some of the fakest looking beer that I've ever seen in my life. I've poured myself, or not poured myself, but I've poured beers when I was working at my movie theater. Beer is a tricky thing, and if you spill it, then that beer smell is going to be all over the place. Considering the movement that was going on, I'm surprised that the beer just wasn't flying everywhere like Steve Austin on a day ending in Y. And the CGI isn't even really fake and isn't really bad in like a way where it's like, all right, it's fake looking, but at least it looks cool. It's like, it looks like it, it's like this got past the final draft. Like this deserved at least a few more renders. Like seriously, why did they go with that choice? 
And I think the biggest sin this movie committed is that it basically runs through. It's William Shakespeare once said, a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. And basically this movie has is titled Pinocchio, has Pinocchio in it, Geppetto, Pleasure Island, Monstro, whole nine, yet it has absolutely no soul. Now, just for complete transparency, I don't have any meaningful attachment to the OG Pinocchio. I think the movie's fine. I think I maybe watched it once or twice, but I have a lot of respect for it. It's the second Disney movie ever, so I mean, that's got to count for something. However, I know exactly what goes into a Pinocchio movie, and this remake just had none of the heart. It was just like checking off boxes, like this scene's there, this scene's there, this scene's there. There's this meme going around of AI-generated images. If you threw all these elements into an AI and said, create a Pinocchio movie, this is what we would have gotten. There's no human touch here whatsoever. Oh, and just to top it all off, this movie has some moments where you just have to question, Lee, is this really a family picture? Like, seriously, there is a couple scenes where there's one scene where Jimmy Cricket is is like observing Geppetto and he puts his hand on something and it turns out there's this it's like a figure of this woman who's sticking her butt out like that, like she's posing for Instagram or something. I'm just sitting there like this is meant for families, apparently. Now, the original Pinocchio was very dark. And it had some stuff that definitely was near the knuckle, especially for that time period. But that played into the context of the story and was trying to teach some kind of a lesson. The adult stuff here feels like they just needed to include it for people to watch it. It makes no sense to me. And it especially makes no sense that on Geppetto's clock wall, there's a Dumbo clock, a Sleeping Beauty clock, I'm pretty sure there's clocks I missed, a Lion King clock, but it's like, it's meta. They didn't need to do that, but they did it anyway. And that's what, that's one part of why I am infuriated with this. This movie is absolutely horrid, full stop. Now, I'm not going to say, like I said, this is, I'm not going to say this is the worst live action remake Disney has done, especially not with that Lion King movie and that Beauty and the Beast movie still running around in the pop culture ethos. I'm not going to say that. However, Pinocchio, it just feels, it just feels completely lifeless. And that's just the biggest insult of all. I don't need to ask all of you what you thought of this movie. I'm pretty sure you all have seen it and hated it. So what was your favorite moment of the 1940 version? Leave your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to read what you have to say. And if you like this video, please be sure to leave a like. Comment your thoughts down below. And if you like this video and you want to see more like it, hit the subscribe button and click the bell to allow notifications. That way, when a new video drops, you'll be the first to know about it. My name is Ryan Cam, and I'll see you in the next one.